So right now I'm just showing you my little teeny weeny afro, but today we're going to do a quick weave and these are some of the materials you will need. You're going to need some Eco Styler Gel, a stocking cap, some spritz, and the hair that you're using. And I'm going to be using the Jamaican Beach Wave by Outre. It comes with five pieces, 16, 18, 20, and 22, and a closure, a lace closure. I did not use the lace closure because I thought it looked pretty unrealistic. But right now I'm just molding the hair down using the eco styler gel and some spritz and just kind of alternating going back and forth between the spritz and the gel and blow drying it down kind of brushing it into place because my hair is so short it doesn't really require much it took me maybe about 10 minutes to mold everything down and usually people want to do quick weaves they use two stocking caps but it gives me a headache when i do that so i only chose to do one and i just use a little pencil to mark where my leave out was sprayed a little more spritz on the stocking cap so everything is nice and conformed now i'm taking the longest bundle which is a 22 inch and cutting and measuring and gluing it onto my head i know y'all seen a whole bunch of quick weave tutorials so it's real easy just to cut measure and tack it down with some glue and i love quick weaves because it literally took me like an hour to do this and it could have been done sooner but I was twerking in the middle, but that's besides the point. So yeah, I'm just going to keep continuing to cut, measure, cut, measure. And I usually blow dry after every track I place just so that everything is dry. I don't need no type of slippage because that is not cute. So this is be finished with the 22 inch bundle. It's about a quarter of the way done. And then fast forward. This is two bundles. This is the 22, the 20 already installed look at me feeling myself already I still got a whole gap in my head so right at the top because my hair is so short I have to place the tracks in a certain way because I literally left out nothing like there's literally none of my hair out so track placement is very important for this process as you can see like I have absolutely no hair out basically ball headed anyways so right now i'm splitting the track so it can lay down as flat as possible please be so careful with this part because if you do not take your time splitting these tracks they will rip in half and you'll have a whole bunch of tiny split thin tracks that you can't do nothing with so yeah be very careful when you split the tracks you're gonna have two separate pieces as you're gonna see shortly but i'm going to essentially be creating an invisible part which is gonna allow more coverage of my hair to create the illusion that I left more hair out even though I did not and I was low-key lazy so I didn't do the invisible part on both sides I only did it on the side that my bang is going to be on so right here I use one of the split tracks to create a more close and seamless finish on the leave out or closer to the leave out so right now I'm just gonna basically be blow drying into place because I like I said don't want nothing slipping so blow dry after every placement it's the best way to go if you want it to be secure. So this is me just placing that thin split track very close to the hair that I did leave out so that it'll create a more seamless finish because we don't want no gaps. And this is the part that I'm doing the invisible part in. And as you know, you just take a whole bunch of tiny pieces and basically place them right on top of each other. And by doing this, it's going to allow me to have a more you know natural look of my hair because there is like basically no hair left out so just creating that little bit of leave out to cover the invisible part is going to make it look really natural looking like it's just all mine right now I'm just layering and shaping the hair some just so I can get a visual of how it's going to come out to look but I'm going right back to the invisible part and just cut place cut place so I've done with the invisible part and it's looking it's looking like some slight work slight work and it's already looking natural already i haven't even flat ironed my four c's to match that little wave pattern but right now i'm just going to take my titanium flat iron it's like half an inch and just going to comb my natural hair into place with the weave so that it all blends nicely and the good thing about this hair the 950 color it's kind of like a burgundy mixed with black so my natural hair blended nicely because it just looked like dark roots going into a lighter color, which I loved so, so much. You can see it's already blended already. I ain't even had to do no 
no edge, no wax, nothing yet. I'm going to do that later, but yeah. So just going to frame and we are done. Look at there. Got some edges on fleek. And there's a little slow-mo action. You better. So I didn't use the 16 inch at all because I felt like this was already a lot of hair on my head. But it came out good. I love the way it came out. I love it. 